Oke, okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Oke, okay. uh, good morning everyone So, today we are going to continue our discussions um, Using SPSS Previously, we've discussed about how to do validity using SPSS And now we are using um, SPSS to investigate the reliability the re Okay, so first of all, what you are going to do is that you are going to copy and paste the Excel data that you have. Um, question 1 to question 20, including the total, and block everything, including the participants, and then control C. And after that, you are going to paste it into your SPSS. Okay, I have opened my SPSS like this and then again we are going to change far into specific number control f and then we are going to replace far o o o into q or x it's, it can be anything okay q replace all Okay, close. And then remember that the last item that we have is a total. So we are going to write down total. Okay, and then we go back to the data view. Okay, so we are going to see like Q01. It is alike with place one, right? And then after that, what you are going to do is that it's as simple as click the analyze button. We have like file edit and so far, but we are going to click the analyze. You choose scale and reliability analysis. And then you are going to block from question 1 to question 20. And then click this button. Export the button. And then click everything. Okay, we already have the data under questions 20. Okay, and then alpha. Okay. Y alpha because it is Chrome Watch Alpha and then um descriptive for you may check like two item but here okay if you are going to more information and then you are going to click like continue and then click okay okay here the results we have like specific result in this case. Mm -hmm. We are going to see that reliability of the test is 0 0.80, um, like 0 0.838. Okay, for I for the total number of 20. Okay, so it's not going to be difficult. If you try to combine the data here, 0.838, it's similar with the data that we have here, right? We have 0.84, which is similar, okay? So it means that both can be said that both are correctly implemented, I think. And if you have the data 0.8, 83 in this case using SPSS it means that it's valid if you try to go back to your previous skills that I gave to you on Alita it means that it's valid I think that's all for today thank, thank you wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh